Welcome to the ENET Employer how-to video series. Today's lesson will show you how to restore your payroll from a backup file. The payroll restore procedure can be useful in cases where you need to completely revert your payroll to a previous state. For example, a restore may be necessary in a case where you have realized a number of data entry errors and it is too time consuming to review and correct each one individually. Another reason for a restore may be if a different payroll administrator has made changes to the payroll and you are unsure of its current status. In either case, restoring from the most recent backup is a sure way of returning to a safe, defined state. ENET employer users occasionally ask if the payroll unclose function is preferential to a payroll restore procedure. Our suggestion is that if you have finalized the payroll and need to correct a minor error immediately after you have closed the payroll, then an unclose function may be more suitable because of its speed and simplicity. If you wish to learn more about the payroll unclose feature, please view our how-to video entitled Unclosing a Payroll. As mentioned earlier, the payroll restore procedure is much more thorough than simply unclosing a payroll. A payroll restore completely erases all changes that occurred after the backup file was generated. Today's lesson will discuss the steps needed to perform the restore process and where to locate your backup file should it ever become necessary to restore a payroll. Although the procedure can be carried out at any time using any prior successful backup file, it's typically recommended that you do not restore a payroll any farther back than from the most previously closed pay run. For example, if you are on pay sequence number 4 and restore a backup from pay sequence number 2, thus skipping back over pay sequence number 3 completely, you will end up erasing all of the data from pay sequence 3 as well. From an administrative standpoint, many payroll practitioners choose to make regular backups at various times during the payroll cycle. Perhaps after they have entered numerous employee hours or after they have made some other significant changes. And in the case of ENET Employer, the program actually mandates that you create the backup file just prior to closing your payroll at the end of each cycle. This requirement ensures that you will possess at least one full backup that represents the completed state of your most recent pay sequence. So if you are ready to learn about restoring a payroll, let's begin by logging into the program and choosing the payroll service. The Payroll Restore procedure can be initiated via the Restore button that is found in three program locations. The first location is the Employer tab's Calculations page. If your company processes one payroll only, you will likely not be familiar with this particular page as it is used primarily when you are working with multiple payrolls. The second Restore button location is also under the Employer tab. It's on the Tools page that is accessible via the Admin Tools command. Notice that the Backup button is also located on this page for easy reference to this companion feature. And the third Restore button location, which is the most common, is found under the Payroll tab through the Payroll Processing Calculations page. The Restore button is located in the button bar right above the table. Since this page is the location where you perform your calculations each pay period, it will likely be the page on which you spend most of your time when working with an employer. As mentioned earlier, the restore procedure can be carried out at any time. However, be aware that any changes that were made to the payroll since the last backup will be erased. Before we proceed with the restore, let's take a quick look at the state of our current payroll. We are presently at pay sequence 26 and the payroll has been calculated, as indicated in the status cell. A calculated payroll typically means that we have already entered our employee work hours and are nearing the completion of our pay cycle. Now for the purposes of our lesson, let's assume that we have a large number of employees and that we have mistakenly entered all of their work hours using an incorrect timesheet. We would now have two options. A. We could go to the Speedy Update page and review and then correct all of the employee hours, knowing that this option would take us a good deal of time. Or B, we could revert back to the end of the previous pay period when the payroll was in a clean, correct state. We will choose option B, since it's much more expedient. 
So let's move forward and perform the Payroll Restore procedure. To do so, simply move to the button bar and select the Restore button. This action displays the Restore Employer data page, where you must choose the location of your backup file. Select the Browse option, and when the Open dialog box appears, navigate to the location where you saved your most recent backup file. Many companies prefer to store their payroll data on a network drive that is backed up each evening. For easier accessibility, some users even retain a backup copy that's independent of the network backup, such as on a local computer or even on a USB flash drive. In our demo lesson, we have stored our backup files on our C drive in the Payroll Backups folder. The sample folder contains our three most recent payroll backups. Eden Employer Backups are saved in the .dat format and the restore feature can only be carried out using a valid .dat file that was created using the program's backup feature. Each backup file name contains a number of identifiers to help us distinguish the most recent backup from other backups in the folder. Let's look at the file naming convention for a moment using this word graphic. The name begins with the user ID that was active when the backup was created, followed by the active pay period, pay sequence, and so on. Please pause the video for a moment if you wish to review the image provided here, or you can view the details provided in the online help that's available by pressing the F1 key on your keyboard. Note, we provided this detailed naming structure to ensure that you have the exact time of the backup. However, you may rename the backup file as needed, as long as it ends with the .dat extension. In our demo lesson, the most recently closed payroll was pay sequence number 25. We created this backup file right after we closed this pay sequence, so it represents the most recent payroll backup state. So let's select this backup file and choose the Open button to proceed. This brings us back to the Restore Employer Data page where the selected backup is defined and ready to be applied. To proceed, we can select the Restore button. The program will then display a final pop-up message prompting us to confirm the action. If this is suitable, choose OK to proceed and begin the restore process. Restoring a payroll database may take a significant amount of time depending on the size of your payroll. Once the restore procedure has completed, Enet Employer will display the results of the restore process and it will also list the backup file that was used during the procedure. A note is also displayed stating that you must log out and close the browser to complete the process. This safeguard is in place to ensure that there are no browser-related caching issues. So let's select the Log Off button and choose Yes to the prompt that asks us if we are sure that we want to log out of the program. Now let's log back into the program and view the results of our restore procedure. We will select the login button and then the payroll service once again to begin. We are then presented with the calculations page, which is the last location that was active when the backup file was originally created. As you can see, we are no longer on payroll sequence 26, rather we are now on pay sequence 25 and the payroll status shows closed to indicate that the payroll sequence was closed when the backup file was created. You can now proceed and add a new row for payroll sequence 26 once again and begin working with a clean start to your new pay sequence. This completes the payroll restore procedure for ENET Employer. If you want to learn more about backing up your payroll, please view our how-to video entitled Backing Up Your Payroll. We hope you found the lesson useful and ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to videos. Thanks for watching.